<laughs> in the new comedy action film Argyle, Bryce Dallas Howard plays a best-selling spy novelist whose fictional world starts to blur with reality when she gets caught up in a real-life espionage operation. <coughs> Take a look. I meant it when I said I was a fan, but the next fan that comes over, he's not just dropping by for a selfie if you catch my drift. He's one of them. Now, I realize this may be hard to believe, but by the time I've broken his wrist and his pistol falls into your lap, perhaps we would have built up little trust with one another. And you'll be able to accept two key realities. Reality one, you are in grave danger. Reality two, when I say it's time, it would really be beneficial for you to hold on to me as tight as you can. I'm talking bear hug like you've never held anyone before. Tight. Okay. Please welcome <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce. Every time you come on the show in the past, you've had to kiss everybody. We don't have to do it anymore. Oh, right, right, right. It's that. It's That's that. The thing yes. about COVID has avoided yeah. kissing each other. Yeah, right. But but and yet I I haven't gotten the memo. So yeah. But I was excited to see you all. So I'm very sorry. I can't contain myself. I love that you're rocking thing. the Argyle, by yeah, the way. It's, oh, it's very on brand. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now another another thing I noticed when you walked out is you walked out to Electric Energy. Yes. From the Argyle soundtrack, which features one of your co-stars, Ariana DeBose. DeBose, yes. yes. And um, on vocals, but this movie is crazy, and I'm pr we're, we're pretty much sworn to secrecy. So I, I kept asking the producer, I go, but can I mention it? She goes, mm, no. probably better not. I go, so yeah. what can I say? One thing I would say, it's a theater masterpiece. Mm -hmm. We sometimes have to watch things on smaller screens. I will definitely want to see this again on a big screen because Thank it's you. a masterpiece visually, aesthetically, all the things. Thank but, um, uh, well, I didn't direct it, so <laughs> thank you very much, but Matthew Vaughn directed the director of King's Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yes. that's his vibe. And it like, feels like that. But yeah. maybe you have a better answer to this. What can you tell us about the I know. <laughs> that yeah. was a long way to get to that. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it because yeah. it, it puts all of you in a really difficult position. And, yeah. and you know, this movie is super fun. It's like an insane amount of fun. Electric Energy is a perfect example of that. You know, it's a blast. Um, but it's got twists and turns, and so Lots you know it's it's Lots. a it's a spy comedy action adventure. I play a novelist. Uh, she's created a franchise called Argyle, starring you know Henry Cavill, and so it's this kind yes. of idealized version of a spy. And then she encounters a real spy, played by Sam Rockwell, mm -hmm. and gets kind of thrown into this world of of espionage. And it's a way of Matthew Vaughn. Honestly, making fun of not only himself, but all those very glamorous spy movies that have just, um, let's just say maybe they aren't heavily researched. Like spies, <laughs> spies are supposed to not stand out. Like they're, not, they're not supposed to be like the most attractive person you've ever so you're seen. You're saying right. Dua Lipa right. is not what right. spies look right. like. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah, Dua Lipa, you're like, she looks like a, a spy. Right. Yeah. She's stunning. Well, I, 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 I just loved it. I watched it with my husband, but I was also told we can't talk about it, really. <laughs> so I'm going to just say this. You already mentioned Henry Cavill, who is so gorgeous. It's hard <laughs> yeah. to look away. Like um, young girl. <laughs> yeah, hard to look away. Yeah. Sam yeah. Rockwell, Brian Cranston, um, Catherine O'Hara, Sam Jackson is yeah. in this. I mean, just to name a few, yeah, by the way. Ariana DeBose and yeah. Sonia Boutella. It's, it's just and, like, the, Dua Lipa. It's just yeah. amazing. And the cat. And, I, and the cat. And the cat, which is my Ship. favorite. Ship. Um, and I heard that it earned you some cool mom cred from your kids who were 12 and 16, which is very hard to get. Yeah, but that lasts all of 30 seconds, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, true. they were very excited about Dua Lipa. They were very excited about John Cena. Yeah. And so was I, naturally. I John so, Cena's in it yeah. But I, I'm, I'm a crazy fan person. Like, I get very wow. excited. And so, like, I, you know, like I'm the person yeah. that I'm like, oh, they're on set. I've never met them before. I'm just gonna like knock on their trailer yeah. until they answer. <laughs> and they always, and, you know, they, the door opens and they're always a little like guarded at first. And then they're like, oh, oh this is this is gonna be my like coworker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be okay. So Whoopi well, does it every day for me. I know. I know. <laughs> no, but Whoopi, I've been freaking out backstage because folks don't know this, but I'm like a crazy Trekkie and I'm obsessed. 
I, I see, I, yes, well, Baby see, Yoda. I mean, I'm very honored. I, very, very Because I know you direct some of these episodes, but you're also a Trekkie, which I love. I'm a hardcore yeah. Trekkie, and, and Whoopi gave a, a figurine set of an episode that's very important, actually, for Mandalorian. It's the episode called Clues. Oh, yes. And, and it really shows off, like, the fun of the holodeck, which is how, really, Mandalorian, we shoot on, on something called the volume, how that was inspired. And so I've been, like, beaming. I'm sweating right now. I'm, like, so excited. <laughs> you too nerding out. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, off script. I just couldn't, I couldn't take it any longer. So thank you so much. I have to okay. ask about something extremely... Gloria. You were Gloria in that episode. Anyway, guys, en enough. Extremely important. So Argyle, as we know, yes, is... Argyle, like, yes. Based on a book supposedly written by a spy novelist named uh, Ellie Conway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a conspiracy theory making yes. around. And um, it's actually the suit um, that... Ellie Conway is actually a pseudonym oh for God. Taylor Swift. Yes. Oh Another God. great <laughs> fan example of how amazing fans can be when there's a lot wow. of enthusiasm. But it's really important because, you know, Taylor Swift is, is an icon and works very, very, very hard on all the things that she creates. And, and we would never want to take credit for anything that, you know, she wasn't wow. a part of. And so... Um, it's, uh, yeah, so Taylor Swift did not write Argyle, but, <laughs> but none of us, none of us really have a full understanding of the mystery around Ellie Conway. And um, Matthew Vaughn, who's the director, his daughter heard about this theory about Taylor Swift and rushed into his room and was like, why did you not tell me that Taylor Swift <laughs> wrote Argyle, <laughs> Dad? Oh like, you should at least be able to trust me. And he was like, mm, pardon? And went online and saw this. I and can't believe that that so is good. a theory. But Here's it makes theory. sense, though. It makes sense. There are similarities. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's all subliminal. And it, or, or I should say probably like it, entirely subconscious and unintentional. But, um, you know, she wears a lot of argyle. There's the a cat. picture There's a picture that Matthew saw of her with a cat backpack. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, you know, she is such a responsible pet guardian. Yes. Like, it was just like, okay, so what is, like, what's the, like, what's the situation where someone's carrying that, around a cat and it's okay? That like, went what, right what over my head part? when I watched right. the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, enough yeah. with Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I work her into every segment. I mean, we she love does. the girl, but it's great. Right. All right. So, so it's uh, coming from the right, not the left. <laughs> ah, well done. Thank you. Let's talk about your father, <laughs> yes. Ron Howard, the great director, Ron yes. Howard. Yeah. Also known as Opie. Yes, yes. Yeah. And Richie Cunningham. Yeah. So, um, you've been tagging along on his movie set since you're a child, right? It's the 35th yeah. anniversary of the 1989 oh, film Parenthood, yeah. Yeah. which marks the first time you were officially allowed to be an extra. Yes. Lucky you. Very lucky, lucky you. me. <laughs> Nepo baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I got, to be, I got to be an extra for the first time when I was seven years old on this set of Parenthood, and it absolutely I was love that know, one of the greatest. Look, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was very excited then, I'm very and excited nailed it. now. <laughs> Thank you. Little, what happened there? Well, how did you feel well, I mean, a it was, is, I mean, I, um, all I wanted to do as a kid was be on set. Like, that's yeah. all I cared about, and I was, I was one of those, like, difficult children to raise in the sense that I, I, I didn't disobey a lot, but when I did, I, you couldn't kind of do anything to punish me. They'd be like, we're gonna take away all your toys. And I'm like, whatever. Like, it didn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. But the one thing I cared about was being on a movie set. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they dangled that over my head perpetually. And if I wasn't, like, constantly behaving, then it would be like, oh, you're not allowed to go to set tomorrow. You're not, you're not gonna be allowed to Did it work? It worked, right? And it worked, yeah. So they, wow. you know, I'd have little, um, silly jobs that they would justify that I'm sure, you know, created a lot of um, awkward things for everyone who was actually trying to do their job at the time. But like, I was like an orange juice squeezer in yeah. the morning. And like, yeah, like giving people, delivering food became something that they I were like, like. they put you to work. Well, I mean, I just, otherwise I'm just a problem honestly, <laughs> on set. It worked for you. Yeah, it worked. No, I, yes. I, I loved it, I loved it. And yeah, getting to be an extra. And, and now you're a director also. And now, you, yeah. and now it's look. It's a great thing, yeah. it's a great yes. thing. Right, so you know we always love it when you come, so come back here whenever you want. Thank you. You're always so welcome here. Argyle is in theaters and, uh, and IMAX on Friday.